Well, welcome everybody into the Churchill Downs paddock and a happy Kentucky Derby Day. Kentucky Derby 140 finally here and what a beautiful day at Churchill Downs. The Derby gods finally smiling down on us with fantastic weather conditions. Couldn't be more perfect for racing and for all the fans that will be joining us today. Again, a big welcome and happy Derby Day. I'm Jill Byrne for Churchill Downs and we have a fantastic card lined up today. Of course, it will all be topped off by Kentucky Derby. 140. The Twin Spires million dollar guaranteed pick six will start in race number six. Well, with these perfect conditions, we are fast on the main track and firm on the turf course today. Of course, the race leading up to the Kentucky Derby is the Woodford Reserve Turf Classic that will be on the turf course that sees the multiple horse of the year, Wise Dan, returning here to Churchill Downs. So much to get to on today's card as the crowds are starting to build here at Churchill Downs. We're kicking it off. Race number one is horse are making their way into the paddock and race number one a starter allowance race with 16 minutes to post three-year-olds and up which are non which have started for a claiming price of 30,000 or less they're going a mile one turn mile on the fast main track 16 minutes to post your favorite the six horse right now at two to one I took the two horse on top upkeep for trainer Phil Bauer a horse had one really good race here at Churchill comes in off what I thought was a decent effort that was on the synthetic surface I think he's much better on the main track where he returns today he had some good races at Tampa Bay Downs Tampa's consistently a very tough racing down there and when the horses come here to Churchill they seem to transfer that uh, form very well to the Churchill track my second pick will be the six right now at two to one and that is prosecution for Brad Cox John Cordeboard Coming out of allowance race, he fits nicely into this 30,000, but it is actually a little bit of a higher starter allowance than what we've seen him compete at before. Prosecution, last time out, he was well off the pace on the sloppy track. Prior to that, he was on the front. It'll be interesting to see where he chooses to be today. He has that versatile running style. It'll all depend on how the pace sets up in here. And then my final horse will be the eight, Dr. Peter on the outside, Calvin Burrell. Calvin had a good day yesterday, always gets a lot of fan attention here at Churchill Downs. He will be aboard Ride. Three minutes to post time. Three minutes. to post. Twinspires.com It's official, 8627.
Returning to the winner's circle is Dr. Peter. A four-year-old bank gelding by Student Council out of Golden Monarch by Wavering Monarch. Owned by Roustabout Racing Stables, trained by Doug Anderson. The winning jockey, Calvin Borrell. Dr. Peter was bred in Kentucky by Millennium Farms and Little Brother Farm. Exacta $24, the trifecta $74, the superfecta $450, $20. Today's first race is the Genuine Risk, presented by Panasonic, and making today's trophy presentation is Joe... When I see a woman drinking bourbon, I expect she's the kind of woman who knows how to pick a horse. Not because she likes the name or the color of the horse. She'll simply know when she's in the presence of a winner. She'll notice my uncertainty as I make my selection, but will offer no advice. And I'll simply know I'm in the presence of a winner. We love your Woodford way. is now in the paddock for race number two a good allowance race and this for the three-year-olds which have never won a race other than maiden or claiming and here at churchill downs beautiful track conditions today for race number two again we are fast on the main track and this will be a mile and the 16th on the main track allowance optional claiming seventy-five thousand is the claiming price scratch out the two horse ship to shore is out with 14 minutes to post let's take a look at some of the contenders in here and my top pick I'm going towards the outside with the seven Rockford Rockford now returning to the dirt course and then the barn of trainer Bill Mott Joel Rosario aboard liked his last couple races I know one was on the poly track one was on the turf course but I do think that is that he could handle the main track here today so Rockford at three to one maybe a little bit risky with the pedigree but he do looks like he works very well over the main track he works good here at Churchill he worked well at Gulfstream Park and sometimes horses that have had success on the turf and on the synthetic tend to run well on the main track here at Churchill Downs. So Rockford right now at three to one will be my top pick in this race. Then I'm going to go to the five horse. You're getting nine to two, and that is Demander for trainer Ian Wilkes. A nice win at Gulfstream going a mile, and this horse has been proven on the dirt course. Then he tried the synthetic.
Chic one, no surrender first. Three, Chic and Ader second. Four, B&B's Pulpit third. And five, Demander fourth. Hold all tickets until it's official. Final time, one minute 44.33 seconds. 